what is the meaning of cooking what is the meaning of preparing a cake uh, is it a kind of um, simple affair is there a philosophy behind it uh, is there a philosophy behind uh, the food uh, that we cook or that we eat these are the questions that raise in your mind after watching Otolangi and the Cakes of Versailles uh, premiered at Tribeca Film Festival. The film follows uh, the story of a British uh, famous uh, chef, Yutam Otolangi. After he was uh, commissioned by the Metropolitan Museum of Art to provide a culinary uh, accompaniment for one afternoon, an event comprised of the kinds of decadent desserts that would have been served off to Marie Antoinette and her royal court uh, at Versailles. The film uh, focuses on the preparation of uh, this event and in this process we realize that Otolangi has no knowledge of the Versailles before so therefore we see him travels mm, to that place to the Paris and he's introduced to its history and the culture of uh, Versailles. We see how Otolangi gathered his group of uh, artists uh, for this uh, performance. Uh, he brings famous uh, names like uh, Coronat inventor Dominic Ansel or the Tunisian um, uh, uh, um, chocolate uh, maker um, Gaia Oliveira. He also uh, scrolls through the social media to find the widely inventive uh, work of British uh, jelly makers uh, Bombas and Bar, the Ukrainian baker Diana Costco, and uh, the Singaporean uh, dessert uh, maker Janice uh, Vaughan. Uh, while uh, met uh, see Otolangi's arrival as a way to make the past uh, come alive. The director, Laura Gabbert, uses this opportunity to make a strong case uh, for food and its preparation as one of the most vital and prominent uh, art forms of 21st century. Gabbert introduces us to the philosophical ideas these chefs have. Um, uh, also, these chefs dazzles us uh, with their jello molds of uh, presco, champagne and elderberries. Uh, we realize that many of these chefs emerged from humble backgrounds and, and found cooking uh, to be the best way to fulfill their potential after careers in other fields. For example, Otolangi himself was a philosophy student and specialized in aesthetic. Uh, and because of his sexual orientation and the fact that he was gay, he was not considered as a uh, welcome um, people uh, in the masculine world of the chef. However, he gradually made progress and turned into one of the most, uh, most uh, famous chefs in the world. In the course of the film, a metaphorical connection is made between the, um, the world of cakes, the, Warsa, the Versailles, and the uh, Instagrams. Met uh, with its uh, maze-like underground and um, countless attendants bear a strong resemblance to Versailles. In, in the Versailles, the court family of France uh, uh, like to show off their excess, their luxury life in France. Uh, the similar uh, like what we can see in the Met. Similar to Met, it was a place where there was no separation between private and the public. Even the most intimate uh, affairs of the kings and queens could be observed by the attendants of the palace or the, by the journalists. And the French kings and queens loved to show their uh, power and glory through their luxurious lives. Uh, Gabbert finds there are serious accompaniment, serious comparison to be made between Versailles and Met, from the ability of major cultural centers this, uh, and Versailles both 
to bring together people with a, with a great variety of experience and to ultimately show what such excess in current cuisine uh, says about our contemporary state of affairs. In this respect, this is one of the rare films uh, to confront its potentiality for obscenity with, uh, ostensi uh, with, with ostensibly openly um, criticizing uh, access, uh, the question of uh, access uh, to such events and that only they were accessible to few people. Uh, and as the film shows, this luxurious life belonged to few individuals and the majority of uh, people could not enjoy these wells. And seeing this um, uh, m uh, make people feel alienated. Today we can see the same thing in the Instagram, in Instagram where the website has made it possible for people to share their individual luxurious lives, foods, parties, dresses and trips with the others. Things that were not possible uh, and imaginable in the past. Who could imagine that uh, I, uh, one person could see the private life of the other such is in such easily way? This is this accessibility is made possible, but it creates envy when people see that uh, others have and they do, them, they themselves don't. The Palace of Versailles is the same. The luxurious life of the kings could be seen from the outside, but people did not have access to that wealth. In a way, we can consider um, the Versailles to be a symbol of corruption and decadence in those years. At it, and it eventually led uh, to the French Revolution. Kings and queens seem to be unaware or seem to not care about the problems of people uh, um, as they were blinded by their luxury lives and were ignorant about what happening around them. And we can see this polarity in social media. The film seems to emphasize this point and tries to show that how baking is not simply, it's not simply a sim business affairs, but there is a world of meanings and philosophical um, uh, ideas behind it. As these chefs create a unique Atmosphere, atmosphere with their vision. The, beauty, the film beautifully convey how what we eat can show us who we are.